Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. I know. Alright, so now we're in the car and I am installing the harnesses. I have the first one done. So to get this set set, you can adjust it and it will be right. When you put this in, make sure this is fully extended and it's gonna come right down to the base of the seat. Like, don't go much far past that. So then when you adjust this, it will come up to the right height and you'll have leftover slack in there. So, then you're gonna have that run over and I'm going to show you how I wrap this. So let's take the other one here. Lie it in here, get it to the right length. So we're gonna match it up with the other one down at the bottom. Let's get this in there. Okay. So yeah, you wanna try and make them as even as possible. Just so that it comes out nice. And let's see, alright. So we're gonna take this. And we're going to come, pull this back. We're going to go under the bar. And then we're going to come back around and through this first point here. we we'll come up through the bottom of that. And this is where you set where your belt's at. Get that all adjusted. Pull this. So you need to come back a little bit. All right. Pull this back. And then you're going to go from the top back down through the second hole in the, the belt strap. Pull that down through. Okay. And then from there, you're gonna come back up and through the top of the first hole that you went through. And this one's gonna be a little bit of a tighter fit, but if you just get a corner through you can get that push through. And it helps if you kind of bend the bracket down a little. All right, so that's through. Not my camera. Just a bit. All right. Sorry, my screen shut off. I wasn't sure if I was recording. All right, so I get that and. Looks like we're good there. So now what I'm gonna do is just make this a little tighter around the bar itself. I'm gonna pull the slack out a bit. Which is kind of difficult, but do that make it even with the other one. I need a little bit more out. So this, you don't have to unwrap it all the way. You can kind of just like open it up and pull from the bottom and get that pulled back through just like that. Now you just follow where the belt goes. This one down, then pull it back, okay, and that's, I'm not going to do it, I'm not just going to say some stupid shit, right. okay, so now, let's see, uh, this one's a little bit longer, so, it come in like that, and this one's longer, so I'm going to have to mess around with it, I still have adjustment, but you can see the actual belts themselves. 
are off. So it's just going to take time to play around with and that's how you wrap the top. The bottoms I'm going to go in, put them into the where the seat belt points mount and hopefully I'll get that on camera. I'll probably have to take my seat out. All right, so as I was going, I that. figured something out that made it a so, lot yeah. easier to get the belts the same height. If you actually take your headrest out, it makes getting them lined up a lot easier. And then now I'm going to go and take the excess, roll it up, put a zip tie through it, and zip tie it shut so it won't come undone and just be flopping around here like that one is. Because you got to be hard, you can't be floppy. Keep it that way. So now I'm going to go zip tie these, pull the seats out, or pull the one seat out. I'm only doing it on the driver's side because I don't care about my passengers, they don't need them. Um, yeah. Alright, so I've replaced these. I had to take out the main part of the harness bar. So I'm working on this side. You can see there it's bare. And I also had to adjust where the strap was, even though I'm going to be using the harness on this side. I still want to keep this in here. So let's see. Yeah, so I had to pull this bottom panel here out and then I was able to put this one back in and some things still need to pop into place like right there that one just clicked in but yeah so light from outside oh well um yeah oh there's some scratches up there but yeah so now I'm gonna do this side it's Pretty much a pain in the ass. So, see how that goes. All right. So I got both of the trim pieces reinstalled, and the bars in sturdy. And to get this for the Subaru BRZ, to get it to go, you have to right here. You have to like trim out all the way around right here. There's a piece that goes in there like this. Just cut that out and trim it. I did it with the Dremel. It took about five minutes for each side. Like, and I cleaned it up as best as I could. I mean, there's still some leftover stuff, but oh well. And then to get it back on, there's a piece that goes up back here. You have to cut that off as well. And then you can stick the bottom in and then wiggle it up around the whole bracket here it's kind of a pain but it gets the job done so now I need to go find a special bit to remove the seat so I can put the last mounting point in I have that one there done and these two done just have to get the one so yep there we go